All right, so it's install day, and for the most part, it's self-explanatory. I've already got one of these buried for the most part. You got to dig down 15 inches, which is the length of it. Uh, this trowel is almost the same length as the, as the thing, so I'm just using that as a guide. When I've dug down enough where this is at ground level, I know that I can safely put that in. Uh, attach the uh, feeder hose to it first, which is at the bottom. I actually spiraled the hose around this unit, so it a uh, better chance of it not getting kinked up and then it connects to the main line which also gets buried and I'm just going to put that down a few inches uh, along the front of this part of the garden and just to show that it's in working order before I go on anywhere Just make sure you kind of dry fit it first to make sure everything lines up. Mine's a little off skew and it's pointing towards the wall and uh, I don't really want it to be. Okay, as you can see I've just dug a nice uh, trench along the front here, just a couple inches down for the main hose and this will eventually connect up somewhere more appropriate. Okay, next up I'm installing the lawn sprinklers. This guy right here, you just dig down until about here. Now I'm running a trench along my driveway. I'm tired. Bury this black hose and eventually connect it up to the splitter. Okay, now that the hole's dug and you can see this fits in pretty good. Just time to attach this hose. That's already hooked up to that header line that I've buried. And once you have it dropped in, just uh, start adding some dirt on either side until it's secure. And I'm digging a little trench for the line going to it at the same time. And you might saw in my other video I had this whole curbside dug up here. Now when you put it back it looks okay. Hopefully my grass comes back to life. So everything's buried. Uh, these hoses and that splitter will get buried a bit more and I'm actually gonna have a faucet come right out here at the front of the house. Uh, and then the fun starts where I actually solder some wires into the water timer and hook up an Arduino to it and get real crazy. All right, it's working good. Let's see how these are doing. One, forget you, you forget the hoses there. You did not see the hose. Two and three. Yeah. Alright, and that seems to be working pretty good. I think that's some good spacing. It's about to get me wet here. Ah. 